Hey everybody, welcome back to Sarah J. Awesome. I am so sorry that I am doing this in a separate video, but it's a little complicated, okay? And I didn't have all the information at the time of doing the video. So I just recently got my windshield replaced on my Tesla Model 3 by Safelite. I did not take it to the Tesla Service Center because it was just too complicated to work with Progressive Insurance and go through the Tesla Service Center. So I went through Safelite. I had no issues at all. I basically just paid my insurance deductible to Safelite when I got there, which I have a $500 comprehensive deductible through Progressive Auto Insurance for my windshield. So basically it cost me $499 to get my windshield replaced by Safelite. When you get your windshield replaced, Safe Light will not recalibrate the cameras for you. And they said that that's why most people go to Tesla and have their windshield replaced there is because Tesla has to recalibrate the cameras anyway after you've got the windshield replaced. I went into the app and I scheduled an appointment with Tesla to get my cameras recalibrated. And I figured they could just do a mobile service appointment and recalibrate the cameras. Like it can't be that hard, I would think, right? So I made the appointment and then one of my subscribers was like, haven't you figured out by now how to recalibrate the cameras? And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I know I went into the car when I first got it. And I know that for the headlights, it said that recalibration had to be done by a professional. And I thought that the camera recalibration had to be done by a Tesla service provider as well. But I clicked on service in my car and I'll show that to you in a second. And it says that you can just clear the cameras. So I'm like, is that for real? Like, do I just have to hit one button in my car to recalibrate the cameras? Because I sent the request for a service appointment through Tesla and they replied with, no, this has to be done at the Tesla service center. And they told me which service center to go to on my appointment date. And I'm like, what? And then they sent me a quote that said it was gonna be $21 and something cents to get the cameras recalibrated. So I'm like, this cannot be right. So then I called the service center that I'm supposed to be going to. And I also asked in the app, like, can't I just hit the recalibrate button myself and just wait for the cameras to recalibrate over the next hundred miles? But they hadn't responded yet. And I'm very impatient. I only waited five minutes and I didn't get a response yet, which is normal. I called the number. It put me through a whole bunch of prompts, basically not wanting me to talk to a person. And I just kept hitting options that would eventually send me to a real human being. And I told them what was going on and I was like, hey, um, I requested an appointment to get my cameras recalibrated. Can't I just hit the button myself and just wait for them to recalibrate? And he was like, oh yeah. He's like, you don't have to bring your car in for us to do that. You just go into service on your screen and you recalibrate the cameras with one button and then you just can't use autopilot or rely on your cameras for about a hundred miles while it recalibrates. So it will recalibrate on its own. He's like, you don't need to bring your car in, just do it yourself. So that is what we are about to do. I'm gonna show you how to recalibrate your cameras. And after you drive about a hundred miles, then your cameras are good to go. He said it actually recalibrates the cameras by actually driving, not by something that they do to the cameras. So you basically just clear the camera history and that will reset them. So I will show you how to do that. And I don't know why everyone is making a big fuss about recalibrating the cameras. I totally thought that it was like a big deal and really, meticulous or something. So apparently Safelite and Progressive are not on the same page and apparently neither is the Tesla service app. <laughs> you you don't have to have Tesla calibrate your cameras for you. Save yourself the $22, just do it yourself. So here's my screen. We're currently on Mars. We're gonna go to service. We're gonna go to camera calibration. It says here, clearing the autopilot camera calibration will reset the calibrated camera positions and angles stored on the autopilot computer. This procedure should only be performed if the cameras have been moved due to a windshield or camera replacement. Clearing calibration will result in no autopilot features until the system recalibrates, which may take up to 100 miles of driving on roads with highly visible lane lines. So we are going to clear calibration, calibration cleared.
there you have it. We have just recalibrated the autopilot cameras together. It's totally simple. Save yourself the time and trouble and the 20 bucks and just do it yourself. <laughs> Whenever you get your windshield replaced by anywhere but Tesla, you need to ask whoever's replacing your windshield, is this an OEM windshield? Is this a Tesla windshield with the Tesla logo on it that Tesla actually uses in manufacturing? I talked to Safelite before they actually did the install when I was making the appointment and I confirmed with them, this is a Tesla windshield. It does have the Tesla logo on it. I can see all the stuff over there that tells me this is an OEM windshield. They also confirmed that there is other Tesla windshields that are not OEM that are floating around. And I did get a quote from a different uh, windshield replacement company before I went with Safelite or Tesla because it was gonna be $500 cash for the install. And that's including labor and the windshield itself. And I got this number from someone that I know who's a friend and it ended up being a really sketchy situation. So I did not end up going with that guy. He basically has his own windshield replacement company and he just drives around to people's houses and replaces the windshield. He had showed me that he replaced the glass on a lot of Teslas around Houston already, but he also did tell me it is not an OEM Tesla windshield. It does not have the Tesla logo on it, which is originally the first thing that made me think, okay, maybe I shouldn't go with this guy, even though it's nice that it's only 500 bucks and I don't have to claim it on my insurance. So be aware of that. Whoever you have replaced your windshield, ask them, is this an OEM windshield? Is this a Tesla windshield? Does it have the Tesla logo on the glass? And if it does, then you're good to go. If it doesn't, then I'm not really sure about the quality of the glass and you might want to steer clear of that. That's totally up to you. I mean, my glass got broken anyway and lots of chips in it, even though it's a Tesla brand windshield, it's not like they're bulletproof or anything. So originally I was like, well, it's going to get broken anyway. I mean, what does it matter? But you know, that's, that is something that you want to be aware of for sure. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I will be happy to answer them. And again, I'm sorry, I did not include this in my windshield replacement video. I did not have all the answers then and now I do. And now you do too.